welcome to everyone. This is Assistant Professor Rajni Bhav from Global Digital Academy. Today we will have to present something and discuss about English literature. So let me introduce about myself. Actually, I have the experience of teaching of five years in different universities, Delhi universities, Delhi University as well as Punjab University. So I'm teaching over your English literature and the different phobia which is going on in your mind. I just want to clarify that the English is not as difficult as it is considered. So an issue is uh, starting with the British history. Before that, this is to be considered that English literature is not as difficult as it is considered. English literature you will read according to the uh, different aspects, so it will become very easy to understand literature. English literature, people think that this is everything. Without literature, we can't see and perceive about the world. Those people who have read literature, they know that parametric ideology, hegemony, everything, how the country is being run by different officials and bureaucrats. So, literature gives us a third eye to understand the literature and the society. Literature is the reflection of the society. So, starting from the British history, that is very, very important in the part of slavers, even if people would be subjective or objective. Because without the British history, we can't get any paper, we can't give any subjective or objective paper. If you go through any uh, paper of subjective, so sometimes it is given that to give that characteristics of that thing, that thing. And the comparison with the world literature only is with the British history. Because British literature is considered as the beginning of the literature. No doubt no literature is written now uh, in uh, uh, India as well as in other areas in their own mother tongue. But English literature, since English has become a mother tongue, English has become an international language. That is why English is so prominent that nowadays people consider it to be proud to write in English and it can become the genre in world literature and it will be read by the different people. Now, I will start with the British history, why it is very important and how the questions are being by the examiners. So I will take about British history. Initially, British history, before starting British history, we must be aware about that, that British history is divided into different eras or ages, but this is not a proper bifurcation according to that age. But we have to make that to convene, to make us convenient to understand British history. British history, people start from Chaucer age, but it is not so. We have to start from Calitic age and we have to finish till pro postmodern age. And people are not aware about pro postmodern age even. That starts from after 9-11 American fiction. So let me introduce about British history. British history, we have to divide and we have to read according to three different parameters. First is the historical background. Second is the writer and writer's work. And third is writer's contemporaries. Each era is divided or named after different some parameters. For example, if I say that Chaucer age is Chaucer age, why is Chaucer age? Because Chaucer was a prominent writer of that age and he gave something new to British history. That is why the age is named after him. Though the age starts from 1340, we say that it, it, and it ends on 1349. But still, we say that and Chaucer's birth was 1343. But still, we consider that the age starts from 1340 and it is considered and it is named after Chaucer. So, we start from Calitic age. If we want to cover British history, so we have to start from Calitic age. After that, Roman period. Third one, we have to start from Anglo Saxon. Fourth one, Anglo Norman. And after that, Chaucer period. Sometimes questions are from here and sometimes the questions are not from here. For example, in Roman age, if we don't do any this type of parameter, Roman age, we, we are not aware about the whole history. It means Roman age is about something related to religion. Because when they came in the country of England and they conquered over there, they gave something that is related to religion and which is made up. Catholic religion. 
And when Catholic religion came in England, people started to write, and before that, the oral tradition was prevailing in England. And now, jump to another is that it's just Chaucer period. After that, Chaucer period, the start Baron period. Next one is Amir Renaissance period. Mostly people are not aware about this age, Amir Renaissance, they mix with the, or they blend with the Renaissance period, but it is not so. Amir Renaissance is like seed who sprout later on in the Renaissance period. So we must know about Amir Renaissance period. And after that came Renaissance period, 91, after Renaissance, Jacobian period. I take one example of the question and how the questions can be asked by the examiner. Renaissance period, Jacobian period. One time there was a question in the paper that the start period in England, if I start by start period, and they gave some that time period 16, that is 49 to 1660. Which period it is called? The options were one is start period, start period. Second one, Commonwealth. And the third one is Jacobian period. And the last one is Restoration period. So we must be aware about different periods. The examiner, is, uh, examiner can ask about the history of that period too. For example, start period, people know that James I was ruling over them and that period can be called Jacobian. So we must know that start period from British history, seven monarchs from Scotland. Or we can say that from the dynasty of start, they rule in Britain, starting from James I. And ends the period with N. One that starts from 1603 and finishes 1714. So it's very important to know about the Ministry of English Literature. Like these types of questions can be asked by the examiner. Sometimes they ask about the period of the kings too. Commonwealth literature, this is the answer to this question. Why? Because at the time of seven monarchs, there was an interim period, and at that time, Commonwealth literature prevailed in Commonwealth. That period started from Puritan age and Richard Cromwell and Oliver Cromwell ruled in England. So that is why this period is known as Commonwealth period and that is a break of the dynasty of the Stort period. The Stort period started and they conquered the Tudor dynasty. That is very very important. These types of questions can be asked by the examiner. If I think about the subjective question, so that question can be asked about the specific or particular features of Jacobian period. That is the bloodshed and how it is different from the other tragedies which was prevailing and what is the difference from the different tragedies. Now I'll start with that another period. After Jacobian period, I'll start another period which was
New class. Now sometimes there is a confusion that people are confused. What is a new classical age? Is this restoration age? Is this the another sensibility age, transition period, and Augustan age? So we must know that this period from 1662, 1701, and this period 1700, 1 of 1798, and Augustan period 1700. To 1785, and another sensibility age starts from 1700, 1745 to 1798. In transition period, we say that that is after 1751, after the publication of the allergy written on the Catholic Church. Next word, after new classical period, another age started. Romantic age. After romantic age, we have after romantic age, we have another age that is related with Victorian time period. And Victorian period is also of the three times. Next, three parts. Thirty one is that modern period. After modern, we have postmodern period. And the new age which has started, and people are not aware about that, that is a pro postmodern age. Which started with the 1911. Fiction. This is not only the change of American fiction, but this is considered as the change in the age due to the change in the characteristics of the writing because here new theory came that is the theory. And before that, we focus only on Lazarus theory, pure theory, and other theories, post colonial and modernism and post modernism. But here, the age started with that pro post. Because mostly people are not aware about this thing because they are not interested with the new seminars and the functions which is, which is going on in the universities. I am familiar about it because I am a part of the teaching process. That is why I am aware that 9 of American fiction, that is the new theory which is coming in literature, and that is the new age that is through postmodern age and new type of style of writing can come in your paper too. So, yeah. after 2001, that is the time period, 911. It means 9 means that is the month of September and date is 11. Because American people had the habit to write month initially after that to the date. That is why the period started with the characteristics of the parent theory and parent theory related to Gulf War and that is the global. War. With these characteristics, a new theory came, and according to that, the writers started to write. And now, new type of things are coming. Like, if you know that Arunati Roy, she gave a new novel about that. Only two novels, till that she wrote, but one is related to war. And each and every time she is giving that the theory to literature. And uh, the new prose fiction, these are all related about the controversial topics, maybe war or maybe the political snap. So, after that, we start another one. Let me tell you one thing. I wrote about 9-11 American fiction. This is America, not British. But the incident even took place over there, that is why. The whole scenario of the society changed after that. No doubt, the event took place only on that place, but the incident and the effects of that event of that terror came in other countries too. So British people were not far behind these things and they were also affected by the war and the terror theory. That is why the writing is coming like this way. And in India we can say that Arunati Roy is one of the examples 
She is writing about those incidents which are coming now. Now, next one I am reading. Apart from British history, what other is important? Number one, we mark about British history that is the basis of literature. Without this, we can't build our literature, parameter, or pyramid. So, better to do starting from British history. Another thing is that world literature. World literature means the complete work, but it is not a style of writing. You have to start British, and after that, you have to do comparison with other things. Like, if I say that British history, the ages and after that, American, I can say that very, very important. If I know that American, maybe subjective or objective, that comparison can be done. Like, what era was going on? When the Amazon time period came in an American period, comparative to British history, that can be subjective or objective. Next one is. After that, American has started European literature. Next one is after that, European literature, so Canadian literature, Indian literature, very important area, and after American literature. Next one is Greek literature, the classical literature, the basis of literature, the beginning of the literature. Though it was not in English, but it was in Latin, but it was the basis of these things. Because tragedy started by Homer, and after that, how the word tragedia and the meaning of tragedia, and later on the definitions of the tragedy, and the philosophy started only from this area, and they gave some parameters how philosophers were came, how philosophers came and gave their theories. For example, like I talked about Plato, Aristotle, and I asked you the tragedy and the poetics. Very, very important to know about the special features of the tragedia and tragedy. After that, we have a standard of Aristotle, and either we assimilate with that person or we do the comparison with that person. We are not similar with the parameter. For example, Breton Brecht, the German writer, Marxism, and it means he followed the path of Marxism. After that, he wrote one epic theater and the difference from the Greek literature, that is Aristotle. So either we assimilate with that person, that is Aristotle, or we want to follow that path, or we are not doing that. Uh, going to that path, so it means that is what the animation effect is coming and the fourth wall is coming that is given by Edward Brecht. So these are very important parameters to discuss about that and this is the basis of literature. Next one is that Roman literature. It is also considered in Greek literature. Reason is that because Roman conquered Greek place. That is why after that we have to cover Roman literature. Next thing. Linguistics is the language. As we deal with the language, so we must know about language and the language changes. Because sometimes they ask about before English, which language was prevailing in England. And this is also very important. From where the language came and in which language this text is written. So these are very, very important things to consider about. Phonetics and linguistics about morphemes and homophones, morphemes and Chronology. So these are the things. Even next is E L T. Being a professor, everyone must know about elementary uh, English language teaching. So what is English language teaching? How the methods were prevailing and how these are changing. For example, earlier in India, we know that bilingual method was going on because very less English speaking people were available in India. But now these are available. So communicating language came back, and that was the question. In every area, they can ask about which method is going on and how it is different from the other methods. In the question paper, if I discuss about the question about how the question can be asked by examiner. For example, if I say that in the communicative approach to ELT, the development of language learning or teaching involves a shift. So we have to opt from the four parameters. One is from 
form based from the English approach. Automatically, you can say that I am in English language teaching. And if I say that this is form based, it means we have to follow the structure. Now, it is based on the meaning based. It means that is the right option for this. Meaning, because from form we shift it to meaning. Next one is from teacher center, we shift it to child center. That is also the approach of ELP, and that is a method of communicated English language teaching. Next. Very important sometimes, mostly examiners can ask about rhetoric and rhetoric. That is another subject of discussion in English literature. And these questions are based on the lines. They will give you the lines and you have to identify that which uh, device is used in these things, in these lines. For example, if I take one example of this one, in every cry or every map, in every in France. Cry of fear in every voice in every man. This is the example of the lines, and the question can be asked. Number one. This is anaphora. This is anaphora. Next one is option apostrophe. Third one is related to incremental repetition. And the last one is the fourth option would be addition. So let us start with this discussing all the devices which are which can be used in this. Anapora, first of all. Anapora, the term is related with this. Every cry, every infant. Every man, every voice in every man. It means some of the words which are being repeated again and again, and within the line and outside the line. So this is called an anaphora. It means anaphora is a continuous consecutive. The use of the words, not of the lines. If the lines are being repeated from the mouth, starting, middle, and last, that is called refrain. The repetitive lines, but I'm talking about some of the words which are being used in the line, and these are repeated, and that is why it is called anaphora. Next is apostrophe. Some people consider that there is no difference between personification and apostrophe, but it is not so. Apostrophe is used where we can say that the things are not existing or it is not in front of you. Personification, not living, the features of living. A given to non living, that is called personification. But here it is apostrophe, like death be not proud by John Dunn. So death can be, be not be proud, it is not personification, it is called apostrophe. Incremental repetition means when it was used earlier in battle, but later on it is used in poetry to prose too. Incremental means some of the words are being used. To increase or to extend the stanza, and this is for rhythmic voice too. Next is alliteration. Everybody knows that. So, we have already discussed British literature, that is the major part of the people. Another one we have discussed, the translation, English language teaching. And another part related to that terms too. But now I, uh, the major area which is coming here in any exam that is related to that uh, world literature. 
that is taking nowadays a very major major role in Indian people. So I am taking one example of Kazao Shri. So Kazao Shri basically belongs to British and he is, his identity is related to that British Japanese. He was basically Japanese due to some uh, that, uh, war period in Nagasaki and the American bombing after that he shifted to Britain due to the peace environment. But his identity, his roots are from Japan, Japan. and that is that we can see from the work also that how the writer is the reflection of the society and the culture. Which novel of the Kazawa issue was narrated by Japanese, widow living in England and it was the Deconstruction and rehabilitation of the Nagasaki. So, Kazawa Shibu's work mainly deals with these premises, these areas. We can take example of an artist of the Guruji Force, that is the option in the paper. The console is another one, a preview of the hills, and then we are authors. So if I, take, if I take the example of an artist of the floating world, that is the time period of this one, 1986, and it, a, it was a Japanese artist who suffered due to the 1930s Britannianism that was prevailing in the country, and the frustration was there, and it was represented by the artist. Artist's name was Masuji Ono, an aging painter, and we know that painter shows what he or displays in the painting whatever he has a vision in the society and it is represented by the Guru by the painter Masuji Uno. What was the reflection of the society through him? That is a post World War II. So another question can be created by examiner that Kazawa Guru's works or novels which deal with World War I and II, we can take the example of this one that and also 1982. That is a carcass type, that night perish. And another one, musician. Here, the representation of that night perish, carcass type, is given by musician. And his experiences that he was feeling, and he was feeling teasing at that time. And uh, that what is that the teasing point? Unidentified European country. Because in Japan, the people are not surviving over there, so they have to shift from some place to another place. When they shift in one place, they have no identity. That is why that is the problem of other unidentified European country. Next one is that a preview of this about Nagasaki, and this is the answer of this question. Why? Because another work which deals with that the deconstruction and rehabilitation of Nagasaki, and it was an incident of American bombing on. Of Japan and the Japanese people were completely destroyed and demolished at that time. And whosoever was left, they wanted to shift from one place to another. And that is about this migration and the migration of identity, loss of identity that is given by the pale of tears. And the artist of the clothing world is about Mosuji painter. Related to another one, when we are artists, it, it is in 2000 and it is a fifth novel and it is about historical novel. It moves from present to past, showing that three generations and uh, again a picture of all of Of the golden age, it is described on the golden age. Another works which are important to be read by the student, this is Remains of the Deep, very important. Another one, Never Let Me Go, it's a science fiction change from the previous style of writing, the saddest music in the world, another one, and the white fantasies. If I say that the term he derived and he is famous for one term that is Udhanti, that is a genre and which means that detected genre, which means as detected genre. So he is very famous for this. Udhanti, maybe the, uh, the examiner can't ask the directly question detected picture. You can say that he is famous for which genre, that is Udhanti. Clear? Now I am taking another part that is American fiction, American literature, which has its own importance in the world literature. So we can't say that world literature can be completed without American literature. So we have to give more importance and focus to American literature. I am taking one example of this. The questions can be made by the example. First is related to identify from the among from among the following list those that can be called war fiction. And we have to see that. We have to see that a modern stance is given, cash flow is given, and the age of innocence, the date and the death. There are some options, and we can, I can give you the answer. This is the first and third answer is there. 
importance, trans and age of innocence. Related to the question, which one is not dealing with war fiction? War, that is first world war and second world war, that which is described in these works, and moreover, the works which are related with the problems they people are facing during the wartime duration. So, American literature and American author William Dean Howells was the person who wrote a modern stance, and he was also called as a pioneer in of realism in American fiction. That is another question can be asked by different way by the examiner. Another important two texts are Rise of the Selyas Lefran and Hazard of New Forces. These are also very important. So we can say that modern stance doesn't deal with the doesn't deal with the war fiction as asked by the examiner. So we can identify and we can cut this option and the option A is coming like this way, another option is C. So we have to see Cast 22. Very much clear to all people who have read Joseph Haller that Joseph Haller, mostly in all his novels, he gave only one thing, World War and the problems dealing with that World War. So he wrote in Barack Comedy to comment the society and the political scenario, those who are involved in World War. Next, in Cast 23, we, uh, 20, uh, 22, we can say that it deals with the one thing, that is War. So it is not the option, we can cut the B option. If we cut the B option, it means automatically the C option is coming in front of us and A and C. But we can't leave the question up to here. We have to discuss about the other parts of these things. Age of Innocence is written by Adams. Adams won the Pulitzer Prize and she was called the first lady of letters who are writing this text and then. She was awarded by this and the award, the name is given first lady of letters. And when she got that prize, initially it was decided by the judges that it should be given to Cynthia Loy, Muse. But due to some controversial issues described in the novel, so the rejection of that Cynthia news was there and now it was awarded to Adit. And after that, the title was given to her. It also described about the Gilded Age. The duration of the Gilded Age is 1870 1900. But the term basically used and described in 1920s and 30s in the text. And the Gilded Age, the word is derived from Mark Prince Charles of Bliss Warriors, 1873 novel, Gilded Age, A Tale of Today. We can see that how many times the examiner asks about the Gilded Age also. Next, The Naked and the Dead. That text is written by Norman Miller. Norman Miller's complete name is Norman. Norman Kingsley Miller. He also got Pulitzer Prize for the Executioner's Song in 1979 and the Armies of the Night. So we have to remember this one also for the next time and we have to remember, recall all these texts so that later on the examiner can ask in a different way and how the questions can be possible in the exam. This is one of the examples where we can say that American people are very important, texts are very important to be analyzed in a different perspective. American fiction, like American Revolution, that is 18.